Hi everyone, Elton here. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, we will see some tips that everyone who is beginning on MATLAB need to know. So, tap the like button and let's begin. First tip, if you are using complex numbers, do not overhide i or j using them as variables. In the for MATLAB uses r and j as imaginary units. If you use them as variables when you are using complex numbers, MATLAB will not recognize them as imaginary units, but as the values that you stored inside them. If we run this script, we can see that MATLAB sees varone as a complex number, but if we change the value of j, MATLAB will see var2 as a real number. But take note, if we use var2 equals 3 minus 1j, MATLAB will recognize j as an imaginary unity, as we can see when we type it in command window. Second tip, everything you use that is not native from MATLAB must be in current folder. For example, if we create a function named myFunction and store in functions folder, as we can see, if we call my function, MATLAB will not recognize my function because she is not in current folder. Even if she is inside of a folder that is inside of current folder, you can see it when we call, call my function in command window. Third tip, you can divide your script into multiple blocks and execute block by block to test separately parts of your code instead of everything every time. To do this, you can use 2% symbols to create a block that will go until the next 2% symbols. Note that the block is highlighted when selected. After creating the block, you can select a block and press Ctrl Enter to execute him, as we can see on MATLAB. Fourth tip, take care if the comparison between operations. MATLAB can leave residues after an operation. For example, if you make the comparison 1 minus 1 equals equals 1 minus 2 thirds minus 1 third, the logical value will be 0 instead of 1, as I am showing on command window. A mean of avoiding this is using rounding commands on MATLAB. So you will make that MATLAB will round an operation result into a integer. For example, Flora command will round a result to the least integer more nerdy. Silk command will round a result to the highest integer more nerdy. Route command will round a result to the integer more nerdy. As you can see in command window, when we use these commands, we solve this problem. And that's the quick tips that I had to say in this video. In another video, we can go more further with more tips. If you like it, share, subscribe, and hit the like button. See you in the next video. Hi,